Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Put my hood up again. So, you want to know the truth about South High? You want to know the truth about the worst school in Anchorage, uh, whose principal tried to cover up a hazing incident? Um, yeah, so, and whose, whose football coach is mad corrupt? Let me tell you here about South High. So, I went to South High. Um, and I defected. Um, so here's the truth, okay? Here's the truth and the full truth, you know? So I was hazed freshman year at South High, okay? I was hazed up in Fairbanks. We were on a trip for track and field uh, to the state meet my freshman year. I got hazed. Um, the administration was too lenient on the perpetrators, uh, and tried to cover it up. You called it bullying instead of hazing. When it was actually hazing, if you look at the dictionary definition. Uh, the very next year, um, our 4x4 relay team qualified for the state championship. Um, and Walt Harmon, I'm going to call him out. Call, his, call him by name because he's corrupt. Um, my time. So he put this kid um, who was a hurdler who had been DQ'd in two of his events. He was a senior. He was white. He was part of this Christian cult called Young Life, uh, with affiliations to the South administ that's affiliated with the South administration. Um, he put this kid named Andrew West, who had a slower four hundred flat time than me, on the relay team instead of me. My dad complained to the school. This is the only Wallahi. This is the only thing my dad's ever done for me in my whole life. This is the only thing my deadbeat dad, good for nothing dad, has done for me my whole life. He complained to the head coach um and I got put back on the relay team um by the head coach yeah so Walt Harmon uh doing favors for the uh son of a boost football booster parent whose son was also on the track team um that plus the hazing incident um the guys the perpetrator's name was Josh Pudlow oh by the way that same day, I was sexually assaulted because we were staying at this hotel called the Wedgwood. Um, and there was four of us in a room. There was me, the dude that hazed me. Another dude is a freshman named Brett Mormon who now runs track at UCLA. Um, there was another dude named Isaac Light, a Mormon pervert, by the way, as you find out later. Uh, Mormon, a Mormon pervert um, and a... Another dude named Roman Stefan, who's another evangelical D-bag. Um, may Allah forgive me, but he's a bad person with bad intentions. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he's an evangelical Catholic, you know? So, oh, and Josh Pudlow was also affiliated with Young Life. And I, and he hazed me because he wanted me to shut me up about Young Life. Because um, he knew I was going to report them for their illegal activities, i.e. proselytizing during lunch. Um, so he hazed me to try to shut me up. Um, and that never worked. That didn't work. Uh, cause he got his, his silver medals in the 200 and the 400 strip from him. Um, so what else? Oh, so I was, so there was four dudes sleeping in one room. Brett and Josh were in the bed. I was on a couch. So I was trying to go, go to sleep. It was after the first day of the meet, right? So I was trying to go to sleep. So I went over to the couch and on my way over, Isaac Light dry humped me. So I got hazed and sexually assaulted on the same day. Now, this was back in 2013. I'm, I'm younger than I look, okay? I know I look like I'm older than I actually am. But, you know, this, this was the same day, same place, Wedgwood Hotel. Um, also, South High used to let this evangelical christian cult called young life into their lunchroom into the comments because they don't have a lunchroom because they're a totally backwards degenerate school um and uh and they would proselytize the kids and the spanish teacher named shelly cooper uh was involved in this uh she had she has young life connections uh, i don't know how but she does have young life connections she also has a young life bumper sticker on her classroom um, and the former principal, Kirsten Strumpler Johnson, uh, also was in on this. Um, so I, I, I spent three years at South, 
Parents shipped me off to boarding school. Hated boarding school. Um, I should have I should have moved in to an gone to another school in Anchorage. Moved in with my uncle. Uh, my deadbeat dad uh, was you know abusive and neglectful as usual, um, and sent me across the across the continent to Massachusetts to go to boarding school, which I hated. Um, and I was by the way I was sexually assaulted there too by two Japanese perverts, um, one named Eric Haneda, another named Taiga Morata. Um, so, and by the way, we're going to get him extradited over here. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's my, that was my high school experience. And then when I came back and did another school, another, I didn't, I finished my senior year at Diamond, uh, and they had Young Life infiltrate the school too, and the, the, the principal, so I, I reported it, alhamdulillah, we got Young Life kicked out. After I had graduated, though, and Young Life would be handing out beef jerky in the commons at Diamond High, proselytizing students. And um, when investigators from the ombudsman's office confronted the principal about this, she lied to them. She lied under oath. Tina Harris Johnson lied under oath. Um... And by the way, my half brother went. To, my younger sibling went to prom with her daughter. My younger brother went to prom. I say he's my half brother because we're nothing alike. But he's actually my full brother. But we went. He went to prom with her daughter. I know her daughter because she ran for the same track club, track and field club I ran for. Um, and you know, it was like thing is that. Uh, South High is inherent, it's insanely corrupt. Uh, I still have one relative that goes there, my nephew. Inshallah, we will, he will transfer to a better school. I'm working on that right now. I'm working at, you know, getting him out of the bad situation at South High. But Inshallah, we will transfer him to another school and he'll move in with another relative. A relative that's not his parents or not his, my parents. So... Yeah, we're working on that, but South High is corrupt. And this, see this ref right here? This is an award. You want to know what's an award for? Defeating Young Life. This came from South's mascot, you know? So, when I say in Abbasids of Alaska, from the city, but my family wear that service green, they defeated the South Side so my parka got a Wolverine. This is the Wolverine I'm talking about. The back legs are being put on my, my red jacket, my red Eddie Bauer parka. But this, you know, this is the Wolverine. This is, I defeated Southside. Your boy, your boy Mansoor defeated the Southside. So that's why I wear the rough, you know. But don't support Southside. Don't send your kids to Southside, to South High. It's the worst school in the state. One of the worst schools in the country. There is more Islamophobia at South than any other place you can imagine except for maybe Chugiak, North Pole, or Wasilla, or Eagle River, you know? So I dealt with racism, I dealt with Islamophobia, I dealt with bigotry, xenophobia. <sighs> I didn't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, so, you know, I got called commie, even though I am kind of a commie anyway. I mean, I don't really... I consider myself left of that even you know my my political beliefs don't fit on the u.s pe political spectrum but yeah you know i was you know so don't send your kid to south because it's literally the worst school in the state and inshallah west wins tonight um inshallah west's defense crushes south inshallah they sack jackson Harmon at least twice um yeah so that's all but we're exposing South High. And that's all I have for this video. 